Aww, animals. Hero canine officer takes bullet for his human cop partner. Dogs are known to be fiercely protective of their human owners, so much so that it's probably not a stretch to assume they'd take a bullet for them. Recent news out of the Palm Beach County Sheriff's Office suggests as much. After Casper the canine heroically jumped in front of his partner during a police shootout with a wanted criminal, 46-year-old Philip O'Shea. Wanted in Raleigh, North Carolina for holding up a motel, police reports indicate the cops spotted O'Shea on May 12th and gave chase in their cruisers. O'Shea crashed his vehicle and then fired shots at the officers, one aimed at Casper's partner. Casper bravely leapt to duty, taking hot lead to his left hip. While O'Shea was eliminated in the deadly exchange, Officer Casper survived and is now back home, walking fairly well and recovering from his injuries. Good boy, Casper. Good boy. Say no to safe spaces on YouTube. Support Tomo News at patreon.com slash Tomo News. Dogs are loyal to begin with, but train them to take down bad guys and they really shine. Mississippi cop saved by canine after men tried to kill him. A deputy in danger was rescued by his valiant black Belgian Malinois from an ambush attack by three unidentified assailants. Around 10 p.m. last Monday, Deputy Todd Frazier was driving along Perlington with his canine partner Lucas when he saw a lone dark blue town car with a man at the driver's seat. The car was unlit, so Frazier got out of his vehicle to check out if there's anything fishy going on. As the deputy approached the car, two other men came out of the woods behind the car and the driver came out as well. Frazier backed up but tripped and fell backwards. Then the three men attacked. The three men dragged Frazier towards the woods. During the struggle, he was beaten and repeatedly slashed with a box cutter. He knew that the man with the box cutter would slash his throat soon. Frazier managed to get one hand free and reached for his police vehicle's remote control and opened the doors. The enraged Lucas jumped into the action and fiercely bit two of the attacker's hands. The three men let go of Frazier and jumped into their town car and drove off, leaving behind drops of blood along the concrete road. In the aftermath of the incident, trails of blood were visible on the site. Investigations are now underway to search for the assailants. Frazier would have been a victim if it weren't for his trusty pal, Lucas. Police sniffer dog accidentally inhales cocaine during drug raid. Northern California authorities announced on Monday that a police dog that had inadvertently inhaled some cocaine during a suspect search last week is now back on duty. Coda, an El Cerrito police canine, had been called in last Wednesday morning to help out with a traffic stop. Midway through the search, though, Coda came across a substance believed to be cocaine and inhaled some of the stuff. No word yet on the immediate effects the signaling had on the poor pooch, but Coda was immediately hospitalized and returned to full duty the very next day. Another man jumps the White House fence and is taken down by Secret Service canine units. A second intruder in a month tried to enter the White House on Wednesday evening, but was quickly taken down by Secret Service Uniform Division canine units and arrested. A man entered the White House North Lawn yesterday after scaling the lawn's iron fence, which measures roughly 7 feet and 6 inches tall. Video footage showed the intruder was a man wearing a dark, long-sleeved shirt and long white shorts. NBC News reported the man made it roughly 20 yards past the fence before he was attacked by canine units, which he punched and kicked. Secret Service officers soon surrounded the man to arrest him. Reuters reported that the White House was on lockdown for about 90 minutes after the incident. The incident comes only a few weeks after another intruder, 42-year-old Omar Gonzalez, made it all the way into the executive mansion while armed with a serrated knife. Say no to safe spaces on YouTube. Support Tomo News at patreon.com slash Tomo News. Cops kill suspect who killed police dog. Pennsylvania police shot and killed a man in Wilkinsburg on Sunday after he stabbed a canine police dog to death. Port Authority police said the incident began when suspect Bruce Kelly Jr. got into a fight with his father, Bruce Kelly Sr. The pair had been drinking in public and ran when officers tried to write them a ticket. The cops gave chase and caught up with a younger Kelly near the Hamnet Place bus stop on the East Busway. Police said the suspect lunged at an officer with a knife, so officers tried to subdue him with their tasers. Police then set police dog Aaron on the suspect, who stabbed the German Shepherd with his knife. At this point, officers opened fire multiple times, shooting the younger Kelly dead. The dog was pronounced dead at a nearby veterinary hospital. He was not wearing a protective vest.
The elder Kelly was captured, but it is unknown if he will face charges. Allegheny County Police are now investigating the incident.